I just can't believe that Aaron Rodgers' entire Jets career is going to be one pass <laughs> incomplete for zero yards. <laughs> that last night was, if you were indeed a scripted league, that is the most cataclysmic and funniest thing you could do to the Jets, to Aaron Rodgers, to Monday Night Football. At the Stugatz, the Jets won the game. And I will say to the entirety of the audience that their season just became a regional season. They just went from a national team to a local team, even if their defense is great. Right. And that scared little boy, Zach Wilson, leads them to 9-7. and seven. He looks like a scared little boy. That's because he's scared. Uh, the Jets don't trust him. Uh, he does look scared out there. It's what an amazing turn of events because you have that happen. I've been telling you guys forever. When you play for the Jets, you're not just trying to overcome your opponent. You're trying to overcome the Jets. The Jets are their toughest opponent. You are trying to come over and you are trying to get past 30 years of bad luck, of jinxes. We are the organization whose best coach should be Bel Bel uh, Bill Belichick. It's not. It's a guy who had a foot fetish. Our best <laughs> quarterback should be Dan Marino. It's not because the Jets decided not to take him. We have the butt fumble. We have so many embarrassing moments. And when I tell you guys we're a tortured fan base, we expect the worst, and you laugh at me, I'm being serious. Because these are the types of things that happen to the Jets. They get Brett Favre. It's the best nine-game stretch the Jet fans have ever had. Then he gets injured. You get Aaron Rodgers, entire offseason, looks great, leader, hard knocks, we're watching it un unfold, and then he gets hurt for it, plays in. These are the types of things that happen to the Jets. When I say I'm surprised Aaron Rodgers even made it to opening night, that's because I am. I was surprised he made it there. I'm surprised he didn't trip over a sprinkler at a practice. <laughs> and here we are. And now, Dan, if you would ask me in that moment, are you going to be able to walk away with any sort of feel good tonight? I would have told you absolutely not. Yet sports is so great because you have this guy, Xavier Gibson, who is a big part of Hard Knocks, who made the team, who cried, was emotional, called his mom right after. One of those stories you love. And that selection by the Jets was validated last night as he returned the punt for a game when he touched them. It was a crazy, crazy night. Crazy night. Tom Brady's still available, though. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to get to that in a second. He's not available. Well, he's he's available, though. I mean, he's not playing for a team right no, now. No, but he, he can't Conflict own a team interest. and then play for another team. Oh, oh. No. Even though he, like, showed up at the Patriots game and says, I'm a Patriots for life, even though you've since been a bu – I mean, I don't want to bring Dwayne Wade into this, but he's since been a Tampa Bay Buccaneer, and now he's an owner of the Raiders. So he's not a, he's not a Patriot for life. No. Let me, again – Go back for a second, because I don't think you very often get what happened last night, not even from an NFL that is clearly scripted. Josh Allen you're talking about. Right? Stu Gatz, uh, says he well, has some feel-good, but uh, that is short-sighted. Well, what to know today, Dana. Uh, to have some feel-good about that. You became a completely irrelevant team the moment that happened. You cannot not have a quarterback in that league. And it's nice that you can you can wrap it in hope, but what just Those happened... Those are great moments. I mean. uh, no, I'm not disputing that. I'm just saying in a season of 17 games, that is a cataclysm that will not be overcome. They have no Super Bowl shot. They started the season. They had one play. They had one throw. Zero for one, not one play. One throw where the Super Bowl expectations collapsed on them. They no longer have those. You were saying 15-2. and two. We still have Randall Cobb, though. Uh, and, you still have, <laughs> and you still have Garrett Wilson. He's Garrett pretty Wilson, good. He's great. Yeah. But, man, is he going to get – Nathaniel Hackett. He's right. going to get very frustrated this year. <laughs> I had so many people texting me, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Mike was not one of them. It almost happened. No one on this show sent me anything. It almost well, happened. Sorry about that. It happened, it happened too to fast. You. It happened too fast. Yeah. It was almost too fast to not like. I wanted to, it, I wanted to laugh more at something like this, but it was just it was so you quick. I started inside. feeling bad for Aaron. It, well, it, it, injuries it, stink, but I the, wanted to laugh. But we we talked yesterday, right, about the Giants wait all those months for we got the coach now, and Daniel Jones is our guy. Mm -hmm. And sorry, Saquon, but you know we're not going to pay you enough. But we're going to really use that body this year. And you come out and oof, forty to nothing. Right. Or the Steelers, you come out. And you get one yard, and San Francisco has 199. 
and and they're winning immediately and you're like oh all those winning seasons yeah we're not as good as they are okay season's over <laughs> like we might win some games and stuff but oof this feels terrible so what but the- it can't feel worse than that 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 right there is as bad as it can feel to be the team of expectations when you're the hopeless franchise of don't hope there don't hope there don't have any expectations and then to have the star quarterback the guy who makes you go from not credible to Super Bowl kind of credible. Yeah. The best quarterback you've ever had to have him last a pass. Yep. That was bigger than the Jets even. That that was the the biggest story in the entire NFL entering the season was Aaron Jones going to the Jets and Aaron what will Rogers. he do? Yeah. Or, or Aaron Rodgers rather. Yep. It, it, that's bigger than the Jets. I mean, it, it's devastating. And I don't use that word often, but but that's a, a devastating loss for the Jets. And I agree, they're they're n- nobody's team now. They're they're third place. They're going to limp into third place. They'll finish, you know, seven and ten, and that'll be that. That defense is awfully good, though. It's very good. That defense can keep them in a lot but of games. Stugatz, Quinn and Williams no, but, is a monster. Stugatz, but don't forget what happened last year, okay? That was a Super Bowl. That was a Super Bowl defense you had last year. Yes. And the reason the expectations came with Aaron Rodgers is because it was like, well, you have the, you clearly have a piece that can win on the other side. We have everything. Yes. And you have a receiver, and that's where the hope and the expectations came from, despite the entire history of being cursed. What are the rules for today? Because like we shouldn't laugh at an injury, but can we laugh at the situation? Because the situation no. is hilarious. I got us on this. While also not celebrating an injury. We just, should, as a show, we should say. Injuries stink. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Injuries stink. stink. But- <laughs> That was so funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> so fast. Uh-huh. Kick all Can't, the hype, hard knocks, and he just, whoop, I'm done. Done for the whole year. Can't you just get anyone that's you not? You have the Jets. You could get <laughs> not Zach Wilson, though. Like, there's quarterbacks out there. You have pieces. Like, you could still salvage this season. Yeah. I think there's a ton of quarterbacks, who, in, including Tom Brady, by the way, He's who would not, love to play for the New York all right, Jets. I do. Uh, did I just hear – like, you have to, you guys have to understand the creature that I'm working with here, okay? Because he's going to try and protect himself against what is an obviously horrible misery. He doesn't – for as impenetrable as he seems, nothing bothers him. This will bother him. Like, trust me when I tell you this is the last place that he cares, and so he will lob at Chris Cody there. Season's over. Everyone's laughing at you. You had the Jets last night. That's his defense, that you bet the Jets. And he's got, like, he is going to get buried today. Everyone is laughing at his team today. He is tired of this team, instead of expectations, bringing laughter from the universe. A classic win-win situation for Chris Cody last night. Dan, they've been laughing at me and my team for 40 years. We're terrible. But but Stugatz for a while now has not allowed us to hurt him here. 